Hello everyone, uh, we're back uh, with um, experiment, I believe we are on number eight, uh, which is single replacement reaction stoichiometry and percent yield uh, from this Carolina kit. Um, now we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. Uh, what we are going to need for this uh, experiment is our copper sulfate, um, our filter pads that came in. Uh, and just very quickly, um, I did some uh, preparation steps. Uh, I folded uh, this filter paper uh, twice and cut off one of the ends so I can perfectly align the filter pad uh, with the strainer. Uh, and we're going to use this later. Now, I didn't cut off the bottom. Um, I actually just cut along the line so I can perfectly place the filter pad uh, up against the drainer. So we're going to place that off to the side. Uh, I've also already pre-cut uh, some aluminum foil into one inch by one inch squares uh, and we have exactly uh, 1.5 grams of aluminum foil so this is already pre-cut um, so we'll go ahead and jump right in then okay all right first we're going to start by measuring off uh, how much copper sulfate we have so we're going to use our graduated cylinder. All right, that's 50 milliliters. And we're going to place this in the 250 milliliter beaker. All right, let's measure off the rest. Okay, so it looks like we have, we're just one milliliter short of 100 milliliters. So we have 99 milliliters of uh, copper sulfate. So we'll set this off to the side. We're going to come back to it. And we here we have our copper sulfate. Now we want to go ahead and record um how much of the copper sulfate we have so i'm going to record we have 99 milliliters uh, the mass of the aluminum foil is 1.5 grams so i also recorded that uh, and for the purposes of the experiment let's just confirm we do indeed have 1.5 grams so now that it's zeroed out i'm going to place my aluminum foil and sure enough, I have 1.5 grams. All right, let's turn that off. And then we're gonna take our, uh, here we have our sodium chloride, um, AKA table salt. Um, now this experiment doesn't call for a specific um, weight of salt, but more or less it says approximately one eighth of a teaspoon or the exact amount of a small salt packet from a fast food restaurant. Um, so for this experiment, I've just grabbed a little bit of salt uh, and it does weigh 1.2 grams. I previously weighed this salt. Um, we're gonna place it back on there. It's probably not gonna be 1.2 uh, considering it's gonna weigh off the uh, boat that I'm using. All right, so we'll go ahead and turn it off. We're gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead and add our salt to our copper sulfate solution, and using um, our plastic spoon, we're just gonna we're gonna stir we're gonna stir the uh, the salt until it fully dissolves into the copper sulfate. Um, now the exact amount of salt is really not important since we're using this as a catalyst, um, so don't, don't worry about being specific or 
uh, using exactly 1.2 grams. All right, now that the uh, salt's fully dissolved into the copper sulfate, we're going to go ahead and add our aluminum foil in there. And we're going to stir to mix the aluminum foil with the solution and, and make sure you watch for any changes or observations. As you can see, we're, we're, I'm seeing a uh, chemical reaction. It looks like the uh, there's some sort of fizzing and smoke coming from the copper sulfate. So it looks like we're getting some heat. Um, I see some clouds, a little bit of smoke coming up. Now, this is going to get hot, but not hot enough to melt the um, a 200 milliliter beaker that we're using. Now we're going to go ahead and let this sit. Uh, for about 10 minutes until all of the aluminum reacts with the copper sulfate and then we'll be at Okay, now we uh, we're back and we're actually Noticing that there's basically no aluminum left of the uh, aluminum foil more of this uh, copper that we have left uh, and it, it did let off a lot of a lot of steam or gas um, so make sure you're in a well ventilated area when doing this um, or just don't breathe any of the fumes. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and let the copper settle down to the bottom of the solution for another five minutes and then we'll be uh, back. Alright everyone, so we're back now that the uh, water has fully drained out of the uh, copper sulfate. We're going to go ahead and take this out and see what this looks like. Looks like we still got a little bit of water left. All right, and there we have it. That is our copper that we've extracted out of the copper sulfate solution. So we're gonna go ahead and place this on an oven safe dish and place it in our oven. Okay, and then uh, once it's um, once it's fully dry, uh, should be in about 20 to 30, 25 to 30 minutes, uh, we'll be back on and show you what this looks like. All right, guys, so now that we're back, um, looks like the copper has fully dried. And this is what we have left. Um, so what we're going to do for our last step is we're going to go ahead and, and weigh the copper and record that. Um, and then we're going to go back to the drawing board and find out um, how much uh, product was yielded from uh, the volume uh, and mass that we started with. Um, so let's just go ahead and find out how much of the copper we have.
All right, we're going to need our uh, weighing boat. And make sure you zero it out again. And then you place your copper. And record the uh, amount of, uh, of the mass. Okay, and this will basically conclude our experiment. Um, we're just going to go and add up the rest of it. So, thanks for joining us.